need to cope and keep an eye on these vids. Doing my head in these five minute videos. So that's the same as one minus between 21 and 39. So if I set my lower to be 21, my upper to be 39, my sigma to be 6, my mu to be 30, make sure that's 30, that'll give me the probability that it's between 21 and 39. So my low is 21, up is 39, sigma is 6, mu is 30, should be the bit in the middle, oops, so that's 0 point, is that 8664, yeah, so that's 0 0.8664, so what I want is 1 minus 0 0.8664, which is 0 0.1336 there. <clears throat> Just keep an eye on that time. Doesn't matter in these five minute videos in this room. So it tells you, let's have a look at this question then. So it says in a test, the mean score is 72 and the standard deviation is 2.4. So I know that X follows a normal distribution, 72 comma 2.4 squared. What percentage of scores are more than 1.8 standard deviations away from the mean? So we're looking at here, mu plus or minus 1.8 lots of sigma. So mu minus 1.8 sigma is 72 minus 1.8 lots of 2.4, which they say is 67.68. I have to be careful with my writing, I'm writing quite big for this. And then mu plus 1.8 sigmas is 72 plus 1.8 lots of 2.4, which is 76.32. So I want the probability, I want the bit on the outside, don't I? So there's like my 72. I want, because it wants it outside of it, I want from 76.32. And I want from 67.68. So if I find the bit in the middle and take one off it, that's what I'm after. So it's the same as the other example, really. So 67.68 less than x, less than 76.32. So if you stick that in your calculator, that gives you 0 0.9281. Now what I want is the bit outside it. So what I want is 1 minus the 0 0.9281, which is 0 0.0719. So roughly 7.19%. Keep an eye on that time, it's doing my head in. In fact, I might stop the bid there just in case. <coughs> 